Let's go, baby. Big work day. That's coaching news. UConn made the announcement today. They have hired former UCLA and NFL coach Jim Mora. He hit somebody, party with him. You get a pick, party with him. Make me shave my head. I told y'all, four picks, I'm cutting. You take that today. Y'all gonna cut. It's a good vibe. It feels like I've been here for, for years already. It's been excellent. Uh, I don't feel like I'm a transfer at all. Honestly, I feel like I met most of these guys before and I haven't even known them for maybe four months. I feel like I've been here for years. I think I really fit in really good with the guys. I say it's been different from uh, different like other places that I've been. It's not like a place where you know you like you have to go and try to like find your way in. It's like I was able to like come in and be myself and embrace like who I am, and you know everybody welcomed me in with open arms, and you know. They gonna mess me up. It's not good. I am teasing if they did. The hair is coming off. Do you know anyone maybe a barber around here? Huh? <laughs> sandwich in the middle of practice in my 30 plus year career. Yeah, hey coach, I know the portal's really a, a, an important thing these days. Um, are you looking at the portal for more players for this year's season? And if so, what position groups are you looking at? Yeah, the portal has changed everything. And uh, on a daily basis, there's players that are entering the portal that can help us become a better team and, and win more games on Saturdays. Once I was uh, in the transfer portal and I talked to Coach Moore and um, just hearing him just talk about his vision for this program and also just, you know, seeing the, the staff that he was putting together, it was just kind of one of those things where I just couldn't say no to it. So coming up here on my official visit and I just saw this campus and just saw this beautiful facility, uh, I got to meet some of my uh, future teammates at that time. So it was just, it was just something that I really just couldn't say no to. I just got the right feeling as soon as I got here on campus. My son's name is Khalid Taj Fitzgerald. Uh, his name means eternal crown. So he's uh, he just turned one. He's a big kid. So hopefully, you know, he'll play on the O line, not the D line. Um, you know, our second day of spring ball, that was his birthday on that Thursday. So, you know, he got to come up here and, and see me play football. And, you know, last year I had an injury, unfortunately. So he didn't get to come to any other games. And, you know, I always wanted, you know, at least his first practice or his first football game that he went to to be, you know, him come see his dad, you know, perform. So it was great um, to have that happen. And just every day, it's just every time I see him, you know, whether I'm on FaceTime with them or I see a picture of them, you know, that just brightens my day every day. It just motivates me to go just a little bit harder, so. Me and Nigel Fitzgerald came from the same school. Man, he was just like, Sequoia, this is the place. And with us coming from the same place, we kind of had the same mind, same ideas, you know, so coming here I already felt comfortable because I already knew him. Or I didn't really realize how much I didn't know. And being under Coach Mack, I realized there's so much to the game that I still don't fully understand, but I'm going to be in coach under him. You know? I mean, like, the facilities and the support here, I mean, like, it's outstanding. I mean, like, it's really a, 
close to none, really. I mean, like, the facility was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be, you know, coming up here. This definitely fits the standard of, you know, a Power 5 school. Really incredible. The, the Indo was uh, really surprising to me when I first got here because I'm not used to, you know, an Indo not having, like, a track in it, but, and, like, how big it is and how high it is, like, you know, we can actually punt inside of it, so it's, you know, it's really, like, um, really, like, close to, like, and if, I feel like NFL, like indoor facilities, like those who have like the indoor facilities, so. Yeah, definitely, you know, Coach Mora um, and the energy he brings, uh, along with the coaching staff, you know, Coach Samus, and there's a lot that they want out of the players, and I think with the resources here, we can definitely get that done, especially with Coach King, the strength coach. It's, it's close to home. Um, I know I, I didn't want to go too far from my family. Um, next is just, you know, just the, the coaching staff, uh, it just, I just felt like as soon as I walked in Burton, it was just like a family atmosphere. Um, all the coaches greeting me, you know, it, it wasn't, re it was real genuine. And I also was coach, talking to Coach Mora and Coach EJ, Coach Charlton, just everybody, just everybody, it was just, you know, it felt like a family. Good. You have been running. You better. How was school? Good. Great. Amazing. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Hey, go be on this side. All right, I'm not trying to get on the camera. I'm just saying hello. How are you? How are you? Good, boss. Good. They say that you can see the devil dance on idle you know hands. You know what time it is? So we put in work. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> put the city on my shoulder blades and mold it with. Focus on the future when it's rose to pay. Kicking in the doors and we open gates for the years, blood, sweat, and tears that we overpay. When it's no pain, it's no glow. Legendary crowd for the history. Come to shut us down, you a great army. We about to go live, make it loud for me. Hey, um, can ever bring it in where you can hear me. I cannot talk any louder than this, but there's some important things to say. All right, listen. When things get hard, right? When things get a little bit difficult, when you hit a passion adversity, all right, it exposes things. But the only way we learn is to have things exposed. And I learned some things, and we learned some things today that we got to work on. Okay, that we got to improve. And I said out there when I pulled you up, it's on you guys to decide who you want to be. I can't make that decision. Only you guys can make that decision. If you want to be great, and I would, damn, I would hope you all want to be great. But I, can't, I don't want to hear yes, sir. I want to see it. And I will tell you this, hard things are hard. It's hard to win a football game. It's hard to be great. It's hard to be that special guy. And if you don't embrace that, if you ever give in to it, you are not gonna get what you wanna be or what we're all working in. It's not enough to just want it. I think you guys are all willing. I think you're freaking hungry to know what it takes to be great. I really believe that. This is the most fun and the most fired up I've ever been about a group. I've never been around a bunch of kids, okay? Never. Okay, look at me the way you guys do. But it's got to come from in here for all of us. But every time you make an excuse, you're just negotiating with success. The greatest in the world at anything they do, they're great for a number of reasons, but one of them is because they never, ever, ever, ever excuse themselves. And I hope that you all aspire to be that, not just player, but that person. But I tell you what, I'm jacked up. I want to thank you guys for letting me coach you. Now let's be back. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Where's Jake? Jake, Jake. Come here. Jake. Come here. Come on, Jake. 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 Here's something that was exposed to me today. All right, he's got a, a bad calf. He got a bad shoulder. Bob told me about an hour and a half ago he was done. And yet he was out there on the last play. Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, bring it up, boy. Bring it up. Hey, keep grinding, guys. Get right this weekend. Let's go. Brotherhood on two. One, two. Brotherhood.